Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a ginormous haul from Sephora. I placed this haul last week and it all started because I was watching Stephanie SMLXO, Stephanie Letta's video and I bought one thing, bought a few more and then a few more and now we have like the biggest haul I've done in a minute. I have tried a few things out. I know a couple things I like, a couple things I don't like. And then I did get like three things from Nordstrom based on Stephanie's video, so I'll share that with you too. But I'm really excited and I hope you guys are pumped for it as well and to see all of the new goodies that I got because this is truly, this was like the shopping haul where I was like, I love makeup. I just love when new stuff comes out and it just, it's fun. Holiday time is fun too. There's a lot of holiday stuff coming out, which I have a couple things in here. Not anything crazy, but we got a couple things, so I'll show you that. But if you're interested, definitely keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. I'll have links to everything in the description box per usual. Let's get on into it. Also, do want to say that my lip color is in this video, so just stay tuned and I will let you guys know what that is. But first thing, I want to show you guys the couple of holiday sets that I got. They're really nothing crazy or just holiday items, I guess they're marketed as. So this one, I saw all the brush sets that Sephora collection came out with and this one just looked so good to me and I will definitely use these. Like I'm, I'm really excited about them. I love the little pouch. Will I use the pouch? Probably not. But the brushes looked so good. So this is their Season to Sparkle brush set. You have four face brushes, four eye brushes. These are like essential brushes. Like they look so good and fluffy. I haven't like actually opened them to fill them yet, so we're gonna do that together. But you also get this little brush roll in here, which is great if you are traveling or you just want like a really cute place to put your brushes. You could definitely use this. I probably, like I said, I won't, but it's cute to have. It retails for $45. So I love brushes like this for bronzer for like spot powder things like that this is just so pretty the handles have a really pretty gradient effect from like glitter to a solid burgundy which kind of matches my lip color but this is gorgeous so it says this one's foundation oh my gosh you can use these for anything though this is a really great fluffy blush brush a really great contour brush right yeah contour brush so good powder brush this is essential for under your eyes you can also use this for all over bronzer whatever you want to do I'm putting these in my like downstairs brushes and then the eye brushes this is the main reason why I bought it because sometimes when you buy sets like this you don't love the eye brushes but I feel like these are are fabulous so this is a great eyebrow brush I actually needed another eyebrow brush like this so it has a spoolie and a really nice angle at the top and then you have a flat shader brush they call this the concealer brush again you can use this for pretty much whatever and then you have a really good looking shadow brush this is a little bit more dense but not super dense fluffy kind of crease brush you could really target where you want color and then this brush the blending brush just looks fabulous and it feels so good too. It's really fluffy, not stiff. I was super into it. I bought it. I was like, this is the best <laughs> brush set for like holidays that I've seen so far. And I really like it. So definitely think it's worth it. Another thing that is so worth it, which I only got this for... <laughs> the lash curler because I don't use lash serum. The only one that I use is the Dime Beauty one and I use that mainly for my brows because I'm an avid brow picker. If you guys know, I like pick off my brows. If I'm stressed or, you know, thinking too much or I'm bored, I will literally pick off all my brows. I'll just pull them out and that helps grow them back and it's pregnancy safe, all that kind of stuff. But this is a Shiseido eyelash curler and lash serum. If you don't know, this is the best eyelash curler ever. I didn't think they sold it on Sephora. I still don't because I went to look up the eyelash curler on Sephora and I couldn't find it, but they had this set and so I just bought it. It was 25 bucks. I freaking love, love this lash curler. So definitely snag this for the lash curler. If anything, if you like lash serums, maybe you'll like the lash serum. I'll never use it to be honest with you, but it's so cute. Definitely worth it. I used it today. It curls your lashes like no other. Normally, you guys know I love NARS, and usually I'm not into their like sets like this because a lot of this stuff is just very repetitive. It's always orgasm and Laguna, da 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 da. But I saw this and it just looked really, really pretty, so I decided to snag it up. I might get this in PR, so if I do, I'll just give the other one away. But I couldn't wait because I wanted to try it out. This is what the packaging looks like. It is so pretty, and then you open it up and you have some really beautiful blushes, bronzer, and like a highlighter 
banner. Yeah, these are all different colors, which is really exciting. You have Nude Revenue, Hit It Off, Spin Off, Showdown, High Demand, Just Lust. And they just looked so pretty. And I have not tried this yet. I want to kind of try the highlight real quick and just see what that looks like. It's more of a gold highlight. The palette is really pretty as well. I have a different highlighter on right now. But this looks really nice. I don't know. I can't really tell the difference because the one I have on from earlier is like super shiny. But I really loved all of these colors right here. I feel like these could actually work as blushes. First glance, it looked like contour. Now I'm looking and it looks like blush. Yes. They're definitely blushes. So I would say five blushes and a highlight. You maybe could get away with this being a bronzer. I don't know. It just looks really beautiful. I can't wait to try it and see what I think as I'm dipping my brush into all the colors and applying them. I'll keep you guys updated. Like I said in the beginning, I have a ton of stuff, so just bear with me. Something I really needed to buy is eyeshadow primers. And I have one that is a holy grail, so I repurchased it. This is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. If you have oily eyelids, this is what you should prime with, and then just set it with a powder, like a translucent powder. You can use your face powder, whatever. Just set it into place. You can use an eyeshadow that's just like, you know, either a cream color or whatever you want to go with. This is one of my favorites because seriously, if you have oily eyelids, they will not crease like you will not have eyeshadow creasing your oils will not peek through it is the best they did come out with tinted ones but if I had to pick my favorite the clear is definitely my go-to so I did repurchase that but I did see this I didn't want to like rely on it you know like what if I don't love it because I haven't found a lot of milk makeup that I really love for instance I have oily eyelids and it says a double dose to hydrate and hold and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like that, if it'll work for me. But I wanted to try it and just see. I have tried the Grip Face Primer and I wasn't a big fan of it. So we'll we'll check this out and see what I think. But I think it's a cool, different product for eyeshadow primer. And I wanted to give it a go. So it's the Eye Grip Primer and it's from Milk. And we'll see how I like it. I really haven't heard too much about it, to be honest with you. So I don't know what to expect, but I have high hopes. And then I got this Huda Beauty. I mainly got this for the perfume because I really wanted to try this perfume, see what it smells like, and because I've seen it everywhere and it just looks so pretty. So I snagged this because I also love her lipsticks. So you get this little perfume, which these are my favorite. You guys already know. I love kind of smaller size perfumes like this because I don't really go through perfumes that often. If I love something, I'll buy the full size. But when it comes to like trying things out, I'm all about getting the travel size first. <laughs> I'm all about it because I just want to see if I'll love it. So this one's the Kaoli Deja Vu White Flower. Oh my gosh. Let me, when I tell you this smells so good. Oh my gosh, there's something about it. It just like, it's definitely more of like a winter scent for sure. Definitely floral, hence the white flower. I don't know, I really love it. It's definitely different from the Alien perfumes I've mentioned to you in my past favorites videos, which I had the Alien perfume on today and now I mixed it with this, so I'm gonna be fragrant today. But this smells really good. I would totally buy the full size of this. As long as it smells like this throughout the day, 100%. This smells very like just warm, cozy but a little bit floral and just delicious. Oh, and I love this little package and I love that it is a spray. I can't stand when I get travel size perfumes that are like roller balls. Roller balls don't do anything for me. I don't like roller balls. <laughs> I love the sprays and this is like perfect, perfect size. I could put this in the RV, be good to go. This is great. And then the lipstick that it comes with is just this little tiny guy, it's so cute. This is in the shade Interview and it's a matte lipstick and it's gorgeous. I mean, you couldn't go wrong with this one, right? Like as long as the perfume smelled good, it was like one of those things where it was gonna be a good combo. And these two are fabulous. So love that, that was a great purchase. Oh, real quick, for samples, I got these two samples. If you love the Alien Perfume, definitely go check out Sephora's point system if you have points to spend. They had a travel size of the Alien Goddess one and I snagged it up so fast because you guys know I love that one. So got this, it is a spray form too. I did get the Tatcha soft cream cleanser this is just a face wash i need another one for the rv and then it's also great for traveling you know just put it in your bag and going i usually always check the point systems because i'm always trying to find more travel size skincare sometimes makeup not too much it's usually skincare hair care and normally that's where i'll get like my fresh skincare products in travel size form you know for points um instead of having to buy it all and a lot of just other skincare stuff so 
definitely check it out if you have points to spend because otherwise they're just gonna sit there might as well spend them while you can but then I did get this is the Clinique moisture surge this was in my points too and I really really like this if your skin is feeling dehydrated which mine doesn't feel dehydrated too often but if I do get dehydrated it's usually on the outer perimeter of my face I will use this on those areas and it seriously makes the biggest difference but it's so 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 good got that as a travel size perk I did get one more scent and I know, should I have done this? Probably not. But I am a sucker for new perfumes. And I actually have a Valentino perfume that I got from a Sephora Point Perk that I love. I don't know if I've mentioned it to you guys. I feel like I have on my favorites videos in the past. Maybe not. But I got it as a Point Perk and I really like their scents. So I saw this Valentino Voice Viva Intensa. Anywho, I believe this is like the spinoff of the... Sephora point perk that I got I think I could be wrong but the packaging of this is beautiful it's smaller I really like that and this smells really good too this definitely is not it's not as like warm and cozy as the Kaoli perfume but it definitely smells clean and just fresh and it is more intense than the point perk that I got I really like it so far I have sprayed it on me already I sprayed it when I was opening the package last night because I was just super eager that's how I get I can't like keep my hands to myself and I really love this bottle I think it's so beautiful so I will keep you guys updated on these perfumes let you guys know which one kind of like makes the cut but I do really really like this so far as well I don't know I'm just like a perfume junkie and I told myself months ago to stop because when you move you realize how many perfumes and stuff you have and hair products oh my god hair products is one of those things too where I'm like girl no don't buy more of it but perfumes I'm the same way it's just funny when you move you like notice how much of those things that you get mainly because they're hard to go through like really fast and I was always like all right listen chill on the perfume but now I'm getting more so that's just where we're at in life I guess now I'm going to talk to you about a couple things that I have tried so the first thing I tried this today and I'm not a big fan and as someone who started and loved double wear so much years ago this is the double wear sheer long wear makeup now I will give it the benefit of the doubt because it does say sheer you know and I'm a full coverage kind of gal I love full coverage this did not do really anything for me it was just too sheer for me like I kind of thought it would be like double wear but maybe maybe kind of formulated different to be a little bit thinner but still have good coverage not be like very very sheer more light coverage this is definitely light coverage if you're expecting to have like your redness or acne or acne scars kind of covered this is not going to do that for you so I would just skip it I definitely would be returning this because I'll never use it I will never ever use it so I was kind of disappointed by that and then I did pick up this item beauty air hug concealer this is the biggest concealer I've ever seen in my life I thought Patrick's concealer was thick girl this is thick <laughs> look at this <laughs> look how much bigger it is I think I like it I have to try it a little bit more I got the shade 240 I was for sure thinking this is gonna be a great shade but it's definitely too dark for me what I've tried so far it did have good coverage but I can't tell you really I can't I don't know I need a little bit longer so I ended up going with Patrick's today I still really like Patrick's concealer I just like his line a lot um, I just you know I'm, I'm a coverage kind of person I love packing it on as you guys know but anywho I thought this was cute though the packaging is really cute and I just wanted to try a couple things from item but this was the first thing that I got and I'm not like obsessed but it could be because it's the wrong color for me you know speaking of Patrick which I have not tried this I haven't put it on and I want to try to put it on now I'm a little nervous, but I want to try to put it on. This is the One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I was so intrigued by this. I'm always intrigued by what Patrick puts out because I just, I've watched him for so long. I know his makeup style and, you know, I just, I love his full coverage look. So I always like go to him or like I'll buy his products knowing that like this is going to have what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? This intrigued me. It says 100% results are in, 100% said makeup stayed secure, 100% said makeup didn't smudge and 100% say it didn't leave a sticky residue. Makeup insurance for 16 hours. Lock in your beat until you're ready to sleep. Waterproof, sweatproof, transfer proof, smudge proof, oil and shine control. Infused with texture solving ingredients. So cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm so into it. I did buy the travel size though. I just wanted to try it first and see how I like it because if you've been watching me for a long time, you know I really don't wear setting sprays that often. I have a very hard time finding ones that work for me and where I noticed a difference, you know, like and I 
just don't spend my money on them because if I don't notice the difference, I'm like, why should I, you know? Remember when Huda came out with hers? Is this still as intense as it was the first time I tried it? I tried it, what, like a year or two ago? I know it was in the house in Georgia and it was super intense. Like the smell was like alcohol. Let me know if it's still the same. Do you use it or not? I need to know. But I'm gonna spray this all over and see what we think. Not bad, spray wise, but I definitely have to hold my breath, you know what I mean? I feel like I could feel it mattifying too. And one thing I do like, I can definitely feel it like drying down on my skin, which I don't mind because that makes me feel like it'll work. Just make sure you hold your breath too. Spray in a circular motion for even distribution on the skin as I'm like going in S shapes or a Z shape. Okay, anywho, I will keep you guys updated on this, let you guys know what I think. I do love that he offered a travel size in this. I think that's super smart and I just, I appreciate that. Next up, I have two hourglass, pretty sure these are holiday ambient palettes. So I have Lighting Edit Universe and Lighting Edit Universe Unlocked. One of these, the darker one I got on Hourglass's website, the other one I got on Sephora. I got both because I just wanted to see the color difference and like see which one I would prefer. I couldn't make up my mind, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna just open these up. I do love the packaging. It is heavy. It kind of makes me nervous that if this were to fall, it would definitely break. Yeah, this is the one I got on Sephora. So this one's the a little bit lighter one, but it is so pretty. I love this bronzer. I love that bronzer a little bit more than the other one. And then you have this really pretty highlight like sheen, two gorgeous blushes, and then you have this like powder one over here. This looks really nice. I honestly thought when it came in it would be a little bit more, like a little bit lighter. Sometimes I have a hard time with their palettes like this being too light, but I think this one's gonna be really good. But let me show you the difference between the Universe and Universe Unlocked. Okay, <laughs> Universe Unlocked, like I said, is a bit darker. I did use it today and I really liked it. And I think I'm gonna keep both palettes. When it comes to hourglass stuff, I do like to know where it goes, you know? Like I like to make sure I'm doing it right. One's for your forehead, two is for like your temples, jaw. Got it, okay, I'm gonna keep this card. Cause when I do a tutorial, I'm gonna refer back to that. So this is the difference between the two palettes. This is the darker one, I love this one. So that is this color way, which is beautiful. <laughs> It is so beautiful. I don't know which one I like more. I don't know. I also need to try them both out. Like maybe do one on one side, one on the other. Clearly the bottom one is darker, just so you guys can see the difference in them. The blushes are stunning in the darker one and I'm gonna just play around them and see which one I like better. But so far I do like both. Like I think they're gorgeous and we'll just see what I think. So those two are new. Let me know if you've tried them and what you think of them. I'm gonna keep that little pamphlet too and just make sure I do it right because sometimes I throw directions away and I just decide to wing it and sometimes it's just not the best idea. This is the Italian Summer Face Palette from Anastasia. I don't love the packaging of this. I feel like it's kind of cheapy, to be honest with you, but it'd be good for travel. You do have a mirror, which is great, but you have a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. I think I will definitely use the bronzer and highlight. The formula is a bit thicker, though. So there's the swatch. When I swatch the highlight, it definitely seems a bit chunky. It looks like felt, almost. Like, But it also has kind of like a cream feel to them. Like, they're so creamy. All right, let's just take a brush and see. Let's see what this looks like. I don't even know if we'll be able to tell. It's hard to tell because I had a really intense highlighter on. I'll have to try it out and let you guys know what I think. It's definitely a different formula. I don't know how to describe it. It seems nice. The blush does have a bit of shimmer in it. I'm hoping that it doesn't really translate to the skin because I'm not a big fan of shimmer blushes. I do like Anastasia blushes, so I could really enjoy it. I mean, that looks kind of pretty right there, how I just applied it. I'm getting a little out of hand because I've been packing on all of these colors this whole day and I'm still doing it. <laughs> so let me try this out. I'll keep you updated, but I love the idea of this. And since I like Anastasia products for the most part, like their face products, I really wanted to give this Ago. All right, next up is an eyeshadow palette that I am so excited to just create the smoky eye with. This is the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze Obsessions, and I wasn't gonna buy this, but I was just, I couldn't say no. First of all, this is beautiful. 
I love her little palettes like this. I love her little blush palette that's like this. Oh my gosh, if you guys have not purchased this yet, go get it. Do not sleep on this. This is like one of the best little highlighter palettes ever, and it's so tiny and beautiful. Go get it. It's so good. But this is the eyeshadow palette. I also had a hard time narrowing down which color I wanted because they were all so beautiful, but I was like, girl, you only need one. And since I'm into these tones, I snagged this so fast. I love the green in this. I love the shimmers. I love the mattes in this. I just think you create such beautiful looks with this product and they're so pigmented. Like, I don't know. It doesn't get better than that. I mean, Huda, Huda knows what she's doing. You know what I mean? Love that. I'll do a tutorial with it here soon. Probably one of my next videos. I'm super interested to dabble into this, do something really smoky, maybe something neutral. I don't know. <laughs> I'll try to do something with this, but I love it so much. I just think this is beautiful. I did repurchase this powder because it is a go-to powder for me. And this is one that I actually keep in my purse. So you guys don't often see it on here, but I use it all the time in my real life, like day to day, if I have makeup on. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. This is such a great touch up smoothing powder, great finishing powder. It seriously makes you look poreless. I love it. I just wanted to back up in case I ran out. I have the shade medium. Medium is what I normally go to because when I touch up, I normally touch up the center of my face. And this helps brighten it up, make me look a little bit more alive when I'm out and about. And I do have her little kabuki brush too. And it's just so good. Like this is such a good powder and it's, it is kind of more expensive. I mean, if you have texture or anything like that, if you have very oily skin and you just want like a go to powder that you can rely on, this is it. This is it. This is your girl. One of the best powders I have tried that is pressed. Truly, it is just phenomenal. I do have this contraption, which I was so excited about. I'm surprised I haven't actually bought anything like this before because I always find myself like having to mesh my false lash and my regular lash together. I just like the look of one uniformed lash, you know, like normal. But this is the Lash Fuse and Curl. So it's like an eyelash curler, but it's for false lashes and your real lashes. Instead of you going in with something like this, which you should be careful doing because it could rip out your lashes if you have like mascara and all that on. This is supposed to be great for just putting both of those together, like your false lash and your real lash. So this is what it looks like. And you literally just go like this, like boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. mesh them together and it helps lift them so that's what I need too. I like my lash to be up I don't want it to like sag down and that's supposed to help with that I'll keep you updated on it it can also be used to curl hard to reach lashes in the inner corner of eyes like I said I'm going to be pumped to try this for falsies because I'm always trying to mesh the two I did grab a few different brushes from Sephora Pro collection so I wanted to just shout that out I don't know why I'm on a brush kick I just I really truly am this is a Sephora Pro Pro Powder 50, and this is just a really great fluffy brush for your powder, for bronzer, whatever you wanted to use it for, truly. I say this often, but brushes might say one thing, like use it for this, but you can use it for whatever you want. This looks really pretty, very fluffy, very soft. Like I said, you can use it for bronzer, for powder, whatever you want to do. I just want to pick up another like super fluffy brush. This, as you wash it and use it, will go more towards like a more round brush, but right now it's flat because it's been in that packaging. I did get the Sephora Pro 99 blush brush. This looked really good, so I just snagged it up. This is the first time I bought a lot of brushes in a haul and oh my gosh, I don't know how long. And normally I have like my MAC Sigma or my It Cosmetics brushes. Those are like pretty much all I have in my collection. I don't have a lot of Sephora collection brushes. This is just so pretty to me. Like, I don't know, it's like the perfect size for blush or contour, because again, it's gonna go more round as you use it. So I'll keep you updated on that. And then I did get the Sephora 26 Pro Crease Brush. You cannot have too many crease brushes in my opinion and this one just looked really pretty so I snagged it up oh yeah that looks good look at that bad boy right in the crease it has like some of the bristles that are a little bit longer than the actual brush so I feel like that'll make blending very effortless can't wait to try that I think it's gonna be great okay I'm gonna get into a couple more things and then we're gonna get into what Stephanie made me buy because of her dang videos I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner I have not tried this I haven't really heard anybody talk about it either but I got this because it said it was matte yeah highly pigmented true black matte liquid liner that glides on evenly with a felt tip precision applicator I love me some felt tips you guys really pretty purple too you can spot that in a makeup bag I cannot wait to try this I'm I'm so for felt tip liners. Ooh, 
that is black. I'm gonna let that dry on my hand real quick, see how that goes. I'm excited to try this. I love finding good liquid liners though, and I find that the ones that are like this, where you like dip it into the liner, tend to do better going over glitters and stuff like that because you can get quite a bit more product than if it's just a pin where it's trying to like shake out into the felt tip. So I will keep you guys updated on that. I have high hopes for it to be honest with you. And then lip products, I got a few different Melt Cosmetics lip products. One of my favorite fall looks I did a few weeks ago, their liquid lip that they had, they don't have it anymore, which I was really upset about, but they have a really great formula. It's what I have on now. You kind of see it's kind of coming off here though. It's the only thing with dark lips, but I did get a new lip liner. I didn't think this was super taupe, but it's very, very taupe. So just keep that in mind, but this one's in the shade Nudist. I am gonna keep it though because I always keep lip liners. I never let them go. But then I got three new liquid lips because I have a problem. Um, one thing to be careful of is sometimes you can open a couple of these melt ones and like oil will come out. So just, just keep that in mind. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. This is in the shade Fuse. Absolutely stunning. I love this one so much. And then this is actually what I have on now. This one's in Purr. This is a very vampy, deep lip color for fall. It's a chocolate, chocolate brown. This is such a pretty color. Like, this is vampy. This is a super vampy color, but I wanted something like this because I don't have any in my collection for some reason. Remember when I used to do dark lips all the time? If you've been here for a while? I always had deep, vampy lips and, like, deep, vampy matte lip colors from, like, MAC and stuff. They're gone. So, I bought some more. And then I got this color called Sequel, which I can't remember what shade this is but we're about to find out together Ooh, this one's good this is another good like a fall color oh i would have wore this today that is a gorgeous deep purple <sighs> that takes me oh my god what is that mac lipstick that everyone used to use that was like the deep purple what is it Oh my gosh, you guys, it's gonna bother me. I'm gonna have to go look at old, 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 old videos to figure it out, but that's exactly what it reminds me of in liquid form. Let's get on to what Stephanie made me buy, and this was not cheap, okay? These, but her skin always looks incredible, and I've been watching Stephanie for seriously years now. Even before I started my YouTube channel, I watched Stephanie. We definitely don't have the same like skin texture, and I have like rosacea and everything, and I think I have more oily skin, and she's more normal, if I'm not mistaken, but a a lot of the recommendations she has they do work for me and you know sometimes they don't sometimes they do because we do have different skin types all these products I just saw her talk about and I was like well damn fine I'll get it she's probably the only person that would have me buying a Laura Mercier primer because I normally don't buy Laura Mercier primers um, I've tried her primers in the past didn't really love them I didn't know she really came out with these I don't I don't know if they're newer but this is the pure canvas primer and it's blurring silicone free this is awesome so it definitely does blur your pores out and it goes to like more of a powdery kind of finish I really really liked it um, like my first time using it I just I don't know I'll keep you updated on it but so far I think it does what it says it definitely blurs I put it in my t-zone and it felt great definitely make sure you let it set and like you know do its thing so it can blur your pores but so far so good and a lot of Laura Mercier stuff is like very hydrating which is kind of why I stay away from it because it doesn't usually mesh well with my skin but this one has been great so far I'm wearing it today and I really liked it. And then another Laura Mercier product, which I've tried this powder before and it is nice, but I didn't even think to try a darker color as a bronzer. And then I saw her use it and I was like, wow, that's gorgeous. So this is the Laura Mercier Kindle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in 5. And it's darker so that you can use it as a bronzer and the way that this looks on the skin is just so beautiful and I love the warmth of it you know what I mean like it's just it's really pretty like swatching it doesn't do it any justice you have to put it on your skin to really see and I love this color so I will definitely be using that a lot more this one I've seen a couple people talk about this and I finally just bit the bullet and got it because I was like I don't know if I'm gonna love it or hate it like I don't I just don't know it just looks super like crazy but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Newgasm face palette and I like this I think it is gorgeous so happy I purchased it um, I did try this today and this is what it looks like I believe there's only one shade so that does suck there's not like other shade options this highlight is incredible let me show you this is the one I had on originally and it's just so different it's like it looks almost wet 
on the skin it's like very shimmery and shiny but it's so pretty and then I love these two like contour colors I didn't really use them too much today because I used other products so far I do really like this I don't really use this one right now because I don't like shimmery blushes it like makes my pores look like craters I don't ever use shimmer blush but the other colors in this look stunning and I can't wait to dabble into it a little bit more and then for products that I got on Nordstrom this is definitely like a bougie bougie brand this is Chantikai. I originally went on there because of the powder she raised about so this is the talc free loose powder I got the shade life the packaging is so cheap for how freaking expensive this is they need to like reevaluate that <laughs> because this isn't not a cheap powder and like the packaging feels like air spun you know what I mean you know I'm not the creator or anything so I don't know but this powder is so smooth this is more expensive than the Too Faced peach perfect powder but I like this just as much as the peach perfect powder like this is so smooth and blurring and pretty packaging sucks I mean this is just I don't know what they were thinking with this packaging but the actual powder is really nice and the fact that it's talc free I think is amazing so I love that one it seems awesome so far I've only used it a couple times but it does seem great and then while I was shopping for that I was like oh well, let me try a couple other things from them so I got the Shantikai I'm sorry if I'm butchering that I probably am perfect blur finishing powder in light medium packaging of this and the next product are really interesting they're kind of like wavy I don't know I really like them the packaging of these is way better than the other one this is very blurring it is very blurring this definitely has a tint to it too I really do like it so far I'm gonna keep trying it let you know especially I'm gonna really try to battle it out with this and the Charlotte Tilbury one that I told you guys that I'm obsessed with because that Charlotte Tilbury one is like top tier so I'll keep you updated it does have a mirror this is the real bronze in Serena this I love the packaging of this first off I'm so into reds and greens right now I don't know what it is but this bronzer is so pretty this is like my kind of bronzer it's very warm very like terracotta y but not too warm you know what I mean like it's just a good like back from the island back from tanning bronze it's gorgeous so so far I like it the actual formula is very smooth just like the powder and it seems to blend in very easily I was very excited about those those are some crazy good purchases Okay guys, that is it for this haul. I really hope you enjoyed watching it and saw something maybe that you wanted to try. If so, let me know down below what you're thinking of picking up. And if not, what would you like me to try on camera for you? What kind of makeup looks you wanna see? I've got a lot of stuff to go through, as you can tell. I need to try all this stuff out, come back to you with some reviews, and even try some more out just in videos as well. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.